Mostly everyone by now knows that the Slender Man was just a creation of some guy named Eric Knudsen. He created the legend back in 2009 for a forum contest and from there it grew to become a viral force. Creepy stories, photos, video footage, and even a real-life attempted murder have all since been connected to the fictional character. The character known as the Slender Man has now become a mainstream figure, garnering movies about his legend, earning tens of millions of views on YouTube, hell, it's even a popular mobile app. Despite all of his notoriety, I never for one second thought that the Slender Man was real. I can say that with conviction because long before there was ever a Slender Man, you could easily find documented accounts of mysterious figures referred to as shadow people spread all throughout recorded history, dating back as far as the ancient Egyptian times. They referred to them as Kaibu. The Romans called them Umbra, which meant the shade, or the ghost of an individual who went to a place called the Land of the Shade. People have reported seeing these shadowy beings for centuries, and even to this day, that trend continues. It's likely that you've encountered these mysterious figures yourself and just didn't realize it. Think about it. You could be doing anything and then suddenly you catch a shadowy glimpse of something in the corner of your eye. You're absolutely sure you saw something, but by the time you turned your head to look, there was nothing there. We've all had those instances where you could sense another presence in the room with you, even though you're all alone. And for an unfortunate few of us, there's even been those situations where you were lying in bed, then you suddenly woke up in a panic because you felt an ominous presence nearby. It could be on the other side of the room, slowly approaching you. It could be standing right over you, radiating an evil so palpable your heart begins to race from fear. Or, in the most terrifying of situations, it could very well be on top of you, restricting your breathing. And despite your best efforts to move or attempt to defend yourself, you find yourself completely paralyzed. If you ever experienced any of those scenarios, then you just share some of the same occurrences documented by your ancestors, which means you've encountered a shadow person. No one really knows who or what they are, but the way they flicker in and out of our visual plane leads many to believe that they're extra-dimensional entities from a parallel universe. Some believe they are the presence of human spirits, while others believe they may be demonic in nature. This particular postulation is given further credence by those who claim that they repel the entity by invoking the name of Jesus. Also known as black masses, shadow people are known to range in height from childlike to seven plus feet. There are a number of researchers who investigated the mystery of the shadow people, and there are actually some who claim to have caught the elusive figures on video. I'll leave it to you to decide for yourself who you want to listen to on the matter. As far as I'm concerned, and based off of my own personal experiences, Shadow figures are very real and far more terrifying than a comical stick figure wearing a suit and tie with spaghetti string arms. Unlike the fabled Slender Men, shadow people are all around us, not just waiting for us to stumble upon them in the woods. They lurk just out of sight at our jobs, our cars, even our bedrooms as we sleep. They follow and watch us, but no one knows for certain why. But if the terrifying stories people speak of while they're undergoing sleep paralysis is any indication, and the negative energy these beings exude is indicative of something that wishes to do us harm. So if I were you, I wouldn't be scared of the skinny man in a black suit with the pale face. I'd be much more afraid of the dark figure you see in your peripheral vision when you're relaxing on your couch. Of that gloomy presence you feel in the room with you as you try to do your homework listening to music through your headphones. Of that dark being who stands over you while you're sleeping because it knows that's when you're at your most vulnerable making that the perfect time for it to make its move against you. To those of you who rather keep believing in the Slender Man or simply choose not to believe in neither the Shadow People or Slender Man, I'll leave you with this. How many of you have ever seen or encountered anything resembling Slender Man up close and personal? Now how many of you have encountered any of the situations I spoke of earlier that relate to the Shadow People? Feel free to leave your answer in the comments section below, but I'm pretty sure I already know how this poll is going to pan out. So sleep tight, kids, and remember, you're not alone, even if you live by yourself.